What's happening fellas, Crazy Brit here and we're back with race 2 from the Elite Lobby of GTTCC Season 18 Round 7 So this is the penultimate round then before the final round at Red Bull and Lago Maggiore or as I like to call it Laggy Maggie. So we'll quickly go for the grid then and still only 8 runners and riders for this race 2 reverse grid from the previous race so in first we've got the crew 2nd is Rico 3rd is JLC 4th is White Shot Jim then we got James in 5th place 6th is Golden Brownie 7th is Mark Schumacher and the first race winner Mr. Raffo starting in 8th place we'll start on board with Mr. Raffo and we'll get this race underway Two likes, three likes, four likes, five likes. And it's go at Dragon Trail Seaside. Mark Schumacher looks like he gets a good start. Gets into the middle of the track. So as we head down to turn one, turn one is a tight chicane, so you've got to be careful. There's a little bit of over toughening and going. As we hold it into the first turn, oh, a little bit side by side between the guys. Almost three wide going into the chicane there. You see James in the background. It's coming now into the next right hander, followed by another right hander. You've got to be careful on the brake in here. As we come through with the Croix leading as we go over the crest and down the hill. you got tight, quick left, right, and then another left. As we come through the S's then. Crow takes near the lead. Coming down from the next corner, through the right, left. And then you go over another crest. And then it's downhill to a hairpin. Through the hairpin we go. And now on the exit, gotta be careful not to run it too wide. And now down towards the chicken of death. They all look like they get through cleanly. Oh, a little bit of a tough, little touch on there. As they go through the field, everyone gets through there cleanly for the first time. Oh, it looks like Rico touched the wall then on the exit. Unfortunately for him, yeah, he touched the wall on the exit. Got damage on the front. So Cross still leads as we head into the uh, hairpin to the right. Through the last corner. A little bit of bank on that hairpin, so you can carry a little bit more speed, but you still got to be careful as we head down through the start finish straight to complete the first lap. Then, almost two, min two minutes into this race now, so 1:54, so a few less laps than the first race. I think Ty Ware is on times five, I think, really, so something like that. I can't quite remember again, I didn't race in this race, so not too sure how this race panned out. Let's come over the crest, so the Crow still leading, JLC in second place, White Shark in third, Raffo in fourth place, up to fourth then from the back of the grid for Raffo, Golden Brown is in fifth, Mark Schumach is in sixth place behind him in the Porsche, seventh is James, he's made a place up on Rico, touched the wall, got rid of that damage now, he's on medium tyres. So let's go through the field then and see what tyres are. We've got Grown Softs, followed by JLC on the soft. Then we've got White Shark on the soft, Rifle on the soft. Then we've got the first medium run of Golden Brownie in fifth place. Then with James in mediums in sixth place, managed to get around the uh, Mark Schumacher. Mark Schumacher in seventh on the mediums and Rico on the mediums. So now we see how the two tyre two tire strategies work out. As you can see, JLC and the Crow are making headway now. So the JLC gets past the Crow then for first place. But it looks like the Crow's trying to come back at him. Is he going to try and get a lunge into this last corner? He doesn't. Tucks in behind him. So first place, JLC still in the way. He's coming towards the end of lap two. White Shark just lagging behind a little bit in the monster liveried Ferrari. Raffo in fourth, trying to make headways in the Ferrari as well. Golden and Brown it in another Ferrari in fifth. Just leading this next little gaggle of cars. He's got four cars right behind him. Oh, a little 
little bit sideways from up there. He holds on to it though, side by side with Rico. Holds on to sixth place, but Rico's gonna come past. No, he's not, he's gonna tuck him behind him. Fix better of it there, smart driving from Rico there. Not sure whether there's a little tap there, but they get on the exit kerb. And Mark Schumacher lives to lives another few corners in sixth place. James watching this unfold in eighth place. He's got a good view of this as they go side by side the next couple S's. Mark Schumacher's gonna have the inside turn line for the next corner, but then Rico's gonna have the inside and he gets the move done. So Mark Schumacher loses out on sixth place. But there's James now coming through side by side with uh, Mutt as well. He's gonna get through before the hairpin, but does Mark Schumacher come back at him? He doesn't. Tucks in behind him. So we'll go back up to the front then. JLC still in the way as they get through the chicane of death. The crow in second. White shot Jim third. Raffles catching up to him now in fourth place. Golden Brownie gets it a little bit wrong there, a little bit slow. He's in fifth place. He's going to get caught by Rico before the hairpin. But here comes James. He's on a charge. He's going to go for the inside line. It was going almost three wide into the corner. We do. It's James with email to get that moved on. You've got Rico on the outside there. You've got Mark Schumacher coming through. Oh, it's tight. Four cars all under a blanket as they come down through the last corner. Start lap four. Great racing from these guys. Forget about those guys up front. This is where the racing is. Golden Brown is still back up into fifth now. Rico's up into six past James. Loses out on the main street. As it come now, oh, let's go. Golden Brown, he gets outside. Is Rico going to tuck him behind him? Is he going to try and make a move? He tucks him behind him. Two Ferraris. Now through the next right-hander. Kind of slows down here, but then we go over the crest and down the hill to the uh, to the S's. Looks like it's all evened out a little bit here now. Top four are all still in the positions that they was. Rico loses a bit out to Gordon Brown it. Mutt's back up into seventh. Oh, Gordon Brown gets on the curb, hops over. Hope he had his seatbelt tight for that one. Gordon Brown it still in the, in the fifth place, holding steady in through the hairpin. Go. Rico's got nowhere to go. He's going to have to slip behind him. He's going to hope that Golden Brown doesn't hit the wall as he goes for the Shakir of Death. Oh, it's fine. Oh, Monk get oh, James gets it sideways. Oh, unfortunate mistake for him. Let's see what happens here. We go inside the outside board. So he gets on the curb, gets on the other curb. Oh, just a little bit of oversteer there. Clips the wall. Gets damage. Unfortunate for him there. Unfortunately, he's going to lose a lot of seconds uh, on the back of these guys. That's a real shame. It was shaping up to be a really good fight between these four, but now they're all following each other from the start finish straight. So we'll go up to the top of the field, but JLC is up in the little gap to the crow in second. He's trying to retain them points that he lost in the first race. White Shark is in third. Little gap to form into uh, first and second now behind them. Fourth is Raffle. He's trying to catch up to a White Shark. Golden Brown is still leading this three way battle. Rico still behind him, right on his gearbox. Oh, little hop over the curb there. Managed to keep it, gets the inside line, goes defensive. Rico still giving him pressure though. Can he hold on? So head now down the hill through the S's. Is Rico going to go side by side with him? He doesn't. He slips in behind him. Is he going to go up the hill through the left turn? Watch that curb again going brown. Don't hop over it this time. Now head down to the hairpin. Downhill is more Rico be able to get the move done. He's going to go for an outside pass. Golden Brown is on the inside and he's going to lose two places maybe because there's Mutt. So Rico gets the move done. They're going to side by side for the skin. Mutt cleverly uh, just leps off a little bit. Doesn't want to go side by side through here. It's dangerous. 
They don't clear the wall. Good jump, but Rico gets the move done into fifth place. James comes through the uh, chicane all on his own. He's going to try and close his gap up to them now, but back up to the top. JLC still in the way from the Crow in second. Then we got White Shark in, Jim in third. Then we got Raffle in fourth. This is where it's at then. This is the main battle. Rico's now trying to uh, pull a gap out on the uh, Golden Brownie, but Golden Brownie's still being pressured because he's got Mutt right behind him. Is Mutt going to go for an overtake? No. Nope. He just cleverly uh, stays behind him. He's going to try and save a little bit of fuel as Golden Brownie gets a little bit of slide. Big moment for him then. He managed to keep it, but Mutt's going to get that place then. So Mutt back up into sixth place. He's going to try and chase down uh, Rico. He's now head through the right hander. We're already nearly 10, 10 minutes into this race, and already it's been fantastic racing. Eighth place is James slowly uh, clawing back that gap. Back up to the lead, then we've still got status quo between JC, JLC, the Crow, White Shot, Jim in third, and the Raffle in fourth. He's coming through the hairpin. Looks like the gaps are pretty much staying the same, but though, look at those soft tyres. Already nearly beat, and we're only 10 minutes into the race. There's White Shot Jim's tyres. Front left is really, really uh, suffering. JLC has got damage. Oh, he must have got into the wall. We'll have to go back to that. So, as you can see, he comes through. Oh, gets on the curbs, clips the wall. Oh, he's into the wall. Moves out of the way of the crow. Very unfortunate for JLC, then, costly mistake for him. But, like his crow. The advantage, and look at those tyres, he's got the best tyres on the soft tyres, uh, soft tyre runners so far. But now JLC coming under pressure from White Shark. Anyone going to pit? Not yet. Look at White Shark, Raffles tyres. No, White Shark Jim, sorry. Those tyres are going to be knee changing soon. Same way with, with uh, Raffle. So Mark Schumacher comes through in fifth. On the medium tyres, Golden Brandon gets on the kerb. So Mark Schumacher has got up into fifth place. Then Rico's cost there being knocked down into seventh. So positions changing all the while while these guys are fighting. Allows James to catch back up and close that gap up to them. So back up to the lead. Then Crow is still leading the way as we're on lap seven, coming down to the S's. Down into the dip, now we go up the hill through the right-hander. JLC is still in second, recover from that damage. White shot right behind him in third. Then we got Raffo trying to close the gap in fourth place. We're back into fifth, you can see the gap between the soft and the medium tire runners. We got Luke Schumacher in fifth, still doing a good job. Golden Brownie in sixth. Man able to hold on to that sixth place then from Rico in seventh and James in eighth still lagging behind a little bit but he's coming ever closer to these guys back up to Lee Crow makes it through then we got JRC and White Shot they make it through Raffo now up into the chicane of death oh gets it a little bit a little bit tight on the exit there but he's suffering from tire wear now now we got Mark Schumacher coming through we're just going to go back up to the lead. Are we going to have any pitters this time? JRC and White Shark go through. Raffo, what's he going to do? Really suffering on those soft tyres. He thinks he might go in the pit, but you can't go there because you'll get a penalty. So he decides to go for another lap. As we have Mark Schumacher come through for the hairpin, he's going to come up the hill. And we got Golden and Brownie in sixth place. Same with Rico. Uh, in seventh, and then James comes now through the hairpin. He's catching up to these guys. So back up to the lead then. Only a small gap between these two, these top three. Raffo is uh, dropping off a little bit in fourth. So over the crest we go. Totally different makeup on this race. Uh, compared to the first race of uh, Raffle's dominance in the first race. Struggling a little bit on this track. But the Crow. 
a big difference from the first race. Struggled in the in the in the first race, and we retired from the race. Uh, finished in eighth, but in this race, in the Honda NSX, doing well so far. JLC holding off for White Shark. Then we got Raffo lagging behind still. We will go back up to the top few because they're coming through the uh, chicane of death. Always a uh, a good spot for mistakes. Makes it through. JLC clips the wall again. He's into the wall. He's going to lose the place to White Shark. Another unfortunate mistake from JLC. Raffo he makes it through and skip. But look at those tyres. Definitely going to see some pit stops soon. The crow he goes through. White Shark he's going to go through. He's going to get a penalty. JLC goes through. So White Shark the first pit up. He's going to have a three second penalty. Raffo gets it through into the pit. Doesn't cross the line, so he's good. So he should be able to get the jump on White Shark uh, when he serves his penalty. Mark Schumacher then is going to come through. Should be able to get the uh, the jump on these guys. Rico, Golden Brownie goes through. And James Wes, he's coming through now. So White Shark has come out. He's got a three second penalty. And he's on the soft, so another soft tyre. Raffo's coming out now. He's onto the soft tyres as well. No penalty for him. Slightly slower stop from him, so he must have taken out more fuel than uh, White Shark. Yeah, he does, but you can see he's got a three second penalty. <coughs> so we'll have to keep an eye on, the, on, on here, but we'll go back up to the top. You can see the top two up there. Uh, but Mark Schumacher in third on the William tyre still. Rico in fourth. Surely these guys are going to be should be pitting soon for the soft tyre. They're going to lose too much time to uh, White Shark and Raffo or whatever. Otherwise, you see White Shark's right behind these two. Obviously, what happens with the penalty line? I'm not sure where it is. I think it's uh, after the chicane of death somewhere. So we all head through the, uh, you can see White Shark is trying to get the inside now, he's trying to go for an overtake on the Shikin of Death, we're going to go side by side, he gets squeezed against the wall a little bit, no room, the crow pits then, oh, it's time as we come through, JLC's into the pits as well, White Shark is going to serve his penalty now, pulls over to the right, there's James coming through, he should be able to get 8th, uh, 7th, 6th, sorry. Raffo, though, he's lost the ground, and he's going to have to fight White Shark for the lead. So Muck goes through, Rico goes through, Gordon Browning goes through, James goes through, oh, James goes into a bit, sorry. And then Raffo as well goes through, so where's uh, the Crow? The Crow's there, coming out in 4th place onto the soft tyres. Same likewise with uh, JLC, but he's got the three second penalty for cutting the lines. So he's going to lose ground to White Shark Jim then. So we'll go back to, to the lead then. Jim's still in the pits. He comes out full of fuel and he's on the main, another set of mediums. And he's got a three second, oh, he's on soft, sorry, he's just changed. But he's got a three second penalty as well, so that's going to cost him time. So I'll have to see what he can do with that. <coughs> Not coming through the S's now. Surely he's going to pit this lap now. He doesn't want to lose too much time to the uh, the soft tyre runners. He's heading closer to 20 minutes already. Rico second. Going and Brownie in third. These me and tyres still holding off. But here come the soft tyre runners again. The Crows in fourth. Look at the closing distance speed there. Be able to get the more a lot more turning than the medium tire runners. Gets the better drive off. We just head to back up to lead. Is anyone gonna fluff it through here? Oh, Rico gets super close there. Going Brownie and the Crow. The Crow's gonna mount a uh, overtake now around the back outside of him. As you can see in the background, JLC loses that penalty. That may see, means he loses the position as well to, uh, to the White Shot Jim. Mark Schumacher goes through, same way as Rico. Gone Brownie and the Crow go through. So nobody pitting yet. 
Chelsea, Rafa, and then James is going to put his... Oh, he gets it wrong again on the Gibbs. Oh, unfortunate for him. It's going to be a horrible race. Miserable race for James then so far. Just mistake after mistake. Compounds the facts, and then he has the penalty as well. Very unfortunate race for him then at the minute. But Mark Schumacher is still in first, holding steady. Coming through the right handed now, up the hill, over the crest. Rico in second, great performance for him this so far. But he's going to have to come into the pits this lap, surely. Same with Gordon Brownie. So the Crow in fourth, still behind Gordon Brownie, and so didn't get the move done on him. Which is surprising to me at the minute. Especially on those worn tyres against the fresh softs. He's going to be able to get a move done now. He's got White Shark Jim right behind him. He's going to be able to get a late lunge into the airpin. He is. Dives on the inside. Does he get the corner sticked? He does. He makes the overtake stick. Gets it done. Oh, a little bit of a wall touch from Gordon Brownie in fourth there. He's got White Shark right behind him as he goes through the chicane of death. Oh, this contact. Oh, Gordon Brownie gets it wrong. Let's run on board with him. Oh, he gets a push from White Shark right behind him as he breaks for the uh, chicane. There's JLC going past. So the White Shark pulls over to the side and waits for him. But he's got to let him pass. There he goes, he lets him pass, gets into... Oh, he loses it, what's he doing? Costly mistake from White Shark Jim then. So he loses, lets him pass. Still waiting for him, still waiting for him, still waiting for him. He gets onto the grass, lights it up. Oh, just a lack of concentration there for White Shark. And spins it round, unfortunate for him there. So Mark Schumacher goes through for another lap. The Crow comes through in second, JLC in third. Rico is pitted from, from second, he's now into fifth place. So by Graham Brownie, White Sharks uh, left then. So costly mistake. Could have stuck in the race and got those points, but unfortunately he's gonna get no points as he's DNF'd. Just a lack of concentration for him then. So James in seventh still is coming around on the soft tyres. As you can see, he's managed to catch up to Golden Brownie because Golden Brownie and, and Mutt spent two, uh, Rico spent too long on those main tyres then, but they had no choice because the soft tyres will simply not last on those cars. So, but Rico then into fifth place, then after pitting, he's on the soft tyres. Same with Golden Brownie in sixth, he's on the soft tyres. Rafa still in fourth. JLC in third now, the Crow in second, but Mark Schumacher is still in the way, but the Crow is right behind him. We're going to have to see how many spots he loses on this pit stop. As they come down through the chicane of death. We're down to the chicane of death, sorry. This part's really, really nice, but this part is definitely makes it through. Crow gets through as well, it's close. Oh, JLC in the curbs gets through. Rathmore, is he going to make it through and survive? He does. We have to go a bit ways and ways now. Down to fifth place. Coming through the hairpin. Shaking of death to go. Is Muck coming in? He is. He gets inside the lines, so he's not going to get a penalty this time. So he's coming in the pits. Rico's coming for the Shaking of death. We'll have to see where this ends up. So he managed to get through the chicane of death. Golden Brown is okay. James comes through. He's okay. So Mutt's just getting service now. He's going to have to get fuel as well. Don't forget. Here comes Rico. He should be able to get this move done on Mark Schumacher. He's just getting the fuel. He's coming out now. It's going to be close. Don't forget Rico's got the momentum. But I think Mutt does have a sizable gap. He's going to be able to get out of the pits and get to the first turn before Rico gets to him. Yep, there he goes. So Muck retains fourth place, then from pitting. Going on Brownie in sixth place, followed by James in seventh. But up up front, we're into the last ten minutes now. The cross still in the way from JLC in second. Raffo in third. 
So if anything, if he doesn't catch up to his top two, he's definitely going to get a, pen, uh, a podium. So uh, good showing from Rafa. You see the amount of gap that is between these two. Mark Schumacher still in fourth place, then doing a great job so far. Got that gap to fifth, Rico, but it's coming down, so hopefully we'll have a, another little battle in the closing stage of this race. Six, Golden Brown is still doing a good job. Let's come over the crest, down the hill to the hairpin. Seventh is Jane right behind him. We'll go back up to the front because the JRC is round the inside of the crow. So the crow loses first place to the JLC then. Raffle in third still doing a good job for him. Fourth, Mark Schumacher. He's come through the uh, chicane. Gordon Brown is through. James is through. Gets on the curb. Managed to keep it this time. The Crows right the inside, back past uh, JLC for first place. We'll just go back and see how he does this. So you can see he's right behind him coming through the start finish straight. Through the right little uh, kink. He gets the move done, gets deep on the brakes in the corner. Great overtake from the Crow there. Gets the move done, gets on the exit, but he is JLC, is right behind him. He's going to try and make a move into his next couple of corners. He tucks in behind him. So, a tight battle between these two. JLC gets on the curb on the exit, as does the crow. Now we come down the hill through the yeses, through the left, through the dip in the middle. Now up the hill, through the right. And the left. Now the top. Go over the crest. Gotta watch that curb on the exit. Over the crest we go. Down the hill. To the airpin. You see the sun setting over the uh, over the sea. Get a nice little sunset here. We're gonna ride on board with uh, the crew. You see JLC right behind him. Does he get this chicane done really nice? He does. JLC a little bit touch and go of the curbs there, but managed to get it through. Let's head for the little tunnel now down to the hairpin. Is the crow going to make... Uh, oh, sorry, is the JLC going to try and get an overtake in the inside? He gets the inside, but he's not close enough. The crow gets the exit done. Gets out the exit. This is going to be a tie battle to the end of the race for these two. Just go through the field one more time. So the RAF4 third place. <coughs> Pretty much in no man's land. Fourth is Schumacher. Breeze four by Rico right behind him. Are these two are gonna have a look about before the end of the race. Gordon Brown in six, followed by James. It's tightening up between these two as well. But we'll go back up to Lee, because JLC is back up into first. Let's see how he did this. So he's right behind him, he's gonna return the favour. And he gets the move done on the inside of the uh, first two turns. But is the crew going to be able to get back past him? He is. He's got the uh, drive off the uh, the corner there. Gets the uh, momentum. Side by side. JLC is going to have to concede this corner as he's got the inside. Great racing from these two then up front. JLC is on the inside. Doesn't quite get the drive off the corner he wanted. As we head now over the crest down the hill through the S's. Great battle for first place between these two. They haven't got anyone else to worry about. There's now head up the hill through the S's. Now over the crest, down the hill. Fuel's put here alone, JLC. The crow's got a little bit more, so the crow can stretch his legs. Rip it and rip it. Send now through down the little straight that leads through the chicane of death for the left and right now for the left and right again so JLC has lost a little bit of ground on the crow then but can he make it up in this last corner is he going to have to fuel save we should have two more laps to go this one and one more after this one. 
So 17 lap race then for these guys as they head now down the start finish straight. The Crows pulling out now onto the uh, from JRC. JRC is going to have to fuel save like mad. There he goes. So the Crow edging out now, pulling that gap out. This this uh, battle could be done. Raffo putting his own in third place. Fourth Schumacher pulling out a gap now from Rico. It's close, Rico's trying to close that gap. He's got more fuel than uh, Mark Schumacher. So this could be, uh, these two positions could flip if Rico can. Uh, get the speed and get momentum and uh, close that gap to him. Golden and Brownie in sixth place, still leading the way from James. You see their fuel are pretty much the same, but James has got a little bit more. The Crow in first place, where's JLC? JLC, where's, what's happened to JLC? JLC's binned it somewhere. Oh, where's he been this then? Still. Oh, big accident for JRC there. So get on board with him. Comes through. Gets on the kerb. Oh, drops off the kerb and gets into the wall. Big costly mistake for him. Raffles still nowhere to be seen. Still got that gap to him. So he retains second place, but now he's got damage. And he's had a spin. His tires are going to be dirty. So, very costly mistake, so surely the Crow's going to win this race now if he keeps it on the track. Bit of breathing room for him now, as you can see the gap is a sizable gap to uh, second place. He's still got that damage, now gets lost a bit. Gets rid of it, sorry. So he's coming through the S's now, but you can see Raffle is right there behind him. There's still a gap there, a couple of seconds, but... He's low on the fuel. Raffo's got a bit more fuel than him, so he's going to be able to catch up to him. But we come back now between these two. Mark Schumacher is still in the way from uh, Rico, but Rico's trying to slow, close that gap up as uh, Mark Schumacher's got a fuel save. Oh, a little bit of lag there. As he come off the uh, off the kerb, over the crest, down the hill we go. So the top three rolls split up. This is the first battle that we've got. Golden Brownie followed by James behind as well. So two uh, little battles we've got to keep, up, keep an eye on as they head into the closing stage of the race. The Crow is going to come through and he's going to start his final lap. JLC in second then, recovering after that early accident. He's only got a bit of fuel left, so he's got to be careful. Raffo also, he's got a bit of fuel left. Should be able to get on the uh, uh, last point position in third. Mark Schumacher coming from the hairpin. Rico's trying to catch up. Brilliant race from uh, from Rico in this race. Great result. Yes, there's only seven people racing, but still, he's had a tough old season, and this is a good one. Going to be a good result, whether it's fourth or fifth. Golden Brownie. He's got James right behind him now, so this little battle is tightened up. Golden Brownie's got significantly less fuel than James. So we're going to have to see what happens in this final uh, final lap for these. But Gordon Brown is still in the way, gets on the exit. Doesn't get too much to curb. We're coming through the hairpin for the final time for the Crow though. He's in the lead, he's got the gap to second and third. Just bring it home and the Crow will score a win at Seaside. Comes through the uh, chicane of death for the final time. Does he get it? Stick, he gets really close to the wall, gets on the kerbs, no drama, and gets through. Second place is JRC, he's ran out of fuel maybe, no he hasn't run out of fuel, he's just really slow off that corner. Gets on the kerbs, he's going to make it for the chicane of death. He, he doesn't, he gets more damage, clips the wall, there's Raffo. We're going to have to go back up to the top because the crow is going to come on, cross the line and finish in first place. Great race from him, great result. Good job, the crow. Second is Raffo, gets around the uh, JRC and tanks the wall, gets the damage. And he's going to come on and finish in second. So first in a second and the fastest lap in the first race for Raffo. Great result for him. Great weekend. JRC is going to come home in third. Unfortunate for him. Fourth is Mark Schumacher. Is he going to hold on to fourth place or is the uh, Rico going to get fifth? It's tight. 
Rico gets fourth, Mark Schumacher in fifth. So he gets the move done, great result from him. Like why with these two, who's gonna finish in fifth, sixth and seventh? Golden Brownie gets sixth and James is in seventh. So great racing from these guys. Absolutely uh, epic race there of uh, strategy and fuel saving. So we'll, we'll uh, come down the uh, the order for the final time. The crew finishes in first, then great race from him. Second is Raffle. Great recovery, was in the fourth for the longest time, moved up into third and then late mistake from JRC cost him second place and Raffo gets up in second. Final podium position is uh, JLC finishes with that uh, damage. Uh, very unfortunate, costly mistakes from him through the chicane. Uh, cost him the win and second place. He's going to take the last podium spot. Fourth place, great result for Rico, then managed to get that fourth from Mutschumacher. It was close. Fifth is much Schumacher. Golden Brownie edges it out over the uh, the line with uh, James. Let's see how close that was. So we'll get on board and see how close this was at the line. You see James gets the slip just a bit longer than it would have been uh, finished. But look at that. That's the gap between James and Golden Brownie for the win, uh, for the six and seven, sorry. So that's going to be it then for this week's uh, race two. Uh, next week we have Red Bull and uh, Lago Maggiore. So until then, I've been the Crazy Brit. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.